We have breaking news into our newsroom. Just moments ago, British Prime Minister Liz Trust announced that she is stepping down. She made the, uh, uh, the announcement rather a few moments ago. Again, this is day 44 of Liz Truss's tenure since she replaced Boris Johnson. She is the shortest serving prime minister ever. The previous one was George Canning. He served 119 days and uh, in 1827, he ended his prime ministership because he passed away. Uh, this week, we've seen two uh, prime ministers or two ministers rather in her cabinet have resigned. And this is heavily related to a 45 billion pound tax cut plan that she had planned for but had no way to pay for. That led to her Treasury Secretary resigning. Then he said, we're not going to do any of those tax cuts. That caused her own party to lose faith in her and thus she has decided to resign from the post as prime minister. Here's what she had to say just moments ago. I came into office at a time of great economic and international instability. Families and businesses were worried about how to pay their bills. Putin's illegal war in Ukraine threatens the security of our whole continent. And our country has been held back for too long by low economic growth. I was elected by the Conservative Party with a mandate to change this. We delivered on energy bills and on cutting national insurance. And we set out a vision for a low tax, high growth economy that would take advantage of the freedoms of Brexit. I recognise, though, given the situation, I cannot deliver the mandate on which I was elected by the Conservative Party. I have therefore spoken to His Majesty the King to notify him that I am resigning as leader of the Conservative Party. This morning I met the chairman of the 1922 committee, Sir Graham Brady. We've agreed that there will be a leadership election to be completed within the next week. This will ensure that we remain on a path to deliver our fiscal plans and maintain our country's economic stability and national security. I will remain as Prime Minister until a successor has been chosen. Thank you. And that was UK Prime Minister Liz Truss speaking and resigning again. She is the shortest serving Prime Minister. She's still Prime Minister. She's going to be Prime Minister until they find her replacement. But again, the shortest before her was 119 days. She said there will be an election within the week. That means she's probably not going to make it to 60 days. No. And that is just an incredible turn of events. But as a result of her failed tax cut attempt, the markets fell. Uh, the pound's value fell. The economy there in the UK is in complete turmoil. And you heard her say just there, she can't deliver on the mandate. That's what's led to this resignation. Well, it's truly historic, and it'll be interesting to see what comes next. It's kind of amazing. We were here on the desk uh, announcing the resignation of Boris Johnson, and that was two months ago. Yeah. And so, and so here we are announcing the resignation of yet another British prime minister. This just doesn't happen, but it's happening today. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.